Today we'll be unboxing the DoFit Delta 2 GPS smartwatch, which is the second edition of the DoFit range. This unit is now waterproof to the previous unit and is a little bit lighter and more compact and more modern design. That's the unit there. Um, let's get the box open, you get the user manual, charging cable. Get that away, out the way. So to start off with, we would uh, power up the unit over here, hold the button down, pops up, and you'd be prompted to set it up. So you'd start off with, what you choose your language, we're going to choose English, and basically that opens it up ready to go. Just want to show you the charging cable and power bank, so we're just going to show you how to charge it. You can plug it into any device that has a USB port and the other end has the charging cable which is magnetic um, I think you just clips on like that you would then plug it into your power source and the unit would then indicate that it is charging as you can see there the unit is magnetic so it just pops off and clips on like that that's how you charge it and it is quite a nice long cable, which is quite convenient for you to plug into your computer or whatever. All right, so we've got some power here. I'm just gonna go through the basic operations of the unit. Um, you'll see the unit is a full touch screen and we can change the watch faces if we want to by holding down. Sorry, holding down here yeah, like that. And then we can swipe through the different kinds of faces you would prefer. Okay, for for this demo purpose, I'm just gonna go to the most basic one, which is maybe that, and we selected that there. And then we're gonna go through a couple of the menus. The menu is driven by swiping down, up, left, and right. So let's start off with down. If you swipe down, you'll see straight away you have um, some options here to activate certain features, like the Bluetooth, for example, and you can search for a new device. If you wanna go back, you just swipe that way back again, you go back to your main screen. It's quite easy to navigate. Um, you'll see there's little three dots here, which shows you at the one menu. Now, if you go down, you go to the weather forecast and you will go then to the calendar as well. And once again, you can swipe through the different months like that and go up and then back to your main menu. You'll see the indicator there showing 84%, which is the battery life. Um, to return to your main menu, you can um, push that button again, this bottom button, and it'll go straight to your main clock face. So the main operation is basically by swiping left and up and down, like I showed you there, you can go, now we go straight up, and you can give your, this gives you your overall view of your summary for the day. So that'll show you activity if you had any any sport modes that you've completed during the day your sleep activity and then also your heart rate which you can then monitor let's return to the main menu again um, the nice thing about this dial the rotary dial is if you do turn it you can also quick access certain things without touching the screen so you can navigate with that as well and this top button here is your quick access mode to your activity guide. So if you want to do an activity, let's say you're in the main screen and you want to do a, a run, you would touch that quickly. You would then scroll to running. So, sorry, let's go back. You would scroll to running or you can use the dial. So you can choose whichever activity you want to. Let's go to running. You would then push start, or click start. You can then set your running activity if you want to run for three or four or five kilometers you can then just push simply push start and it will ask you do you want to track your heart rate while you're doing the activity you would then say yes and you want your gps to switch on you say yes and then you would wait for the gps to load which we're going to skip right now but it'll take a couple of seconds you have to be outdoors and it then starts with your activity and as you start on zero it'll start running it's got a very nice display giving you your beats per minute how long you've been running your pace and how many kilometers you've done which is quite um, complex run you can then obviously just stop or pause your run you're not running now so that's it at the end of it it will give you a quick summary 
you can then choose to save or discard it. I'm gonna dis discard it because it's not really a run. That in a nutshell is just the basic operations of the unit. Um, this is a, a short video just to give you an overview of how it is, what the unboxing is and how it works. Um, you can then obviously navigate via the app, which will be on another video, which we'll show you later.